These are the Swiss Alps. And this is Capella Malbis. As you can see, it's pretty idyllic. Kappel is a small village in Zurich Canton. About a thousand people live here. It has a school, a shop, and some farms. It may seem quiet, but traffic can be tricky. It also has a church. This church has a cafe which, in happier times, serves the greatest cake you ever tasted, made from fruit grown in the garden. But this unassuming church in this unassuming village plays a surprising role in the history of Europe as the site of the first war between Protestant and Catholic states. This is all because of this man, Ulrich Zwingli, the pastor of Zurich's Großmünster Cathedral, whose radical ideas transformed Zurich into the first Protestant city-state in the world. This almost came to blows in 1529 as the armies of Zurich and five Catholic cantons of the old Swiss Confederacy met in Kappel. But that day, hungry stomachs trumped bloodlust, and with bread from Zurich and milk from Canton Zu, here the soldiers dined on milk soup. This, the milk Stein, marks the spot. The peace wasn't to last. The Second War of Kappel, and the first to actually be fought, took place in 1531. Zurich was defeated, and a peace treaty, the Zweite Kappeler Landfriede, was passed. It ensured the rights of cantons to practice religion freely. The peace stood for a while before new wars and new treaties shaped Europe over again. In Kappel, a monument was left to Zwingli, a rivet of history in this otherwise sleepy village, now, and hopefully always, at peace. <laughs>